morning, everyone. I'm Josh. I'm Joyce. I'm Kathy. We are from Sammy Senior High School. And today we are going to talk about how to solve malnutrition. <laughs> when you heard of the word malnutrition, what comes to your mind? You may think of poor and thin people in life, right? However, have you ever wondered what malnutrition actually means? Is malnutrition only limited to a thin teenager like me? Or do overweight kids also suffer from malnutrition? In fact, if a person does not get the right number of nutrients, he or she suffers from malnutrition. Therefore, all these teenagers also fell victim to malnutrition. Until now, you may think that malnutrition is an issue that far away from us, right? However, malnutrition among overweight teenagers is now a serious problem in Taiwan. According to Taiwan's Gomin Jiankang Shu, over one third of teenagers suffer from malnutrition because of obesity. What's worse, nutrient imbalance causes their immunity to decline and leads to chronic diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure. To sum up, malnutrition among the overweight teenagers is now a serious issue that can't be ignored. Therefore, to solve the problem of the nutrition, we propose three solutions, start from the policy. Policies protect our values and rights. It can also influence and change our society. Secondly, relevant policies to prevent malnutrition are not comprehensive in Taiwan. Therefore, we think that we can learn from the following two policies in our country. First, Japan has a policy called 学校底食法 in primary and junior high school in Japan. Students are not allowed to bring their lunch from home. All students must eat the same for lunch, following a menu plan by nutrition. Lunch is considered not only a time to feed students, but also an opportunity to educate them food and nutrition. Students need to learn a menu of each meal to understand how balanced diets look like. Additionally, teachers will teach you the knowledge of healthy eating habits regularly. Second, a policy in the UK requires that 7 to 14 years old children have learned 20 dishes before they graduate. It can help them understand food nutrition more and cook by themselves. Besides the policies, we can also control our diet by peers. Teenagers are easily affected by their peers. Therefore, the connection between friends is the most effective way to achieve healthy eating goals. The following is a successful example. In Taipei, doctors and employees took advantage of peers' poll and helped students in Nehu Senior High School to develop healthy eating habits. They assigned students some diet tests in a line group. For example, students were asked to purchase some meals such as sugar-free soy milk, hot toast, and so on. Once they finished the test, they were encouraged to report their results in a group. Although they are not forced to complete the test through our plan, most of the students follow the assigned test because they appear sick so. It turned out that the method was successful because 80 students lost 109.5 kilograms in total. We think that it's a bad case for school to imitate the above mentioned method to help students maintain healthy eating habits. In addition, we can be more healthy by not only external pressure but the social discipline through apps. Let me ask a question first. Who does not have a cell phone? Who has never downloaded any apps? Raise your hand if you don't have any cell phone or download any apps. Okay, as you can see, cell phone has become one of the most important things in our life. Additionally, teenagers like us usually download a lot of apps on their cell phone. Therefore, is a having an app that can record your eating habits a good idea? In these two apps, Fat Secret and Cold Feet. First, you enter your height and weight, then you can, you can set up an eating goal for you. It can help you record what you have eaten, such as your breakfast, 
lunch, dinner, even dessert or a nice snack. It can also share your daily diet with others who also want to change themselves. What more? It can, you can ask some questions about health with an expert online. You, in other words, we can make it on our own. Doesn't it sound great? All in all, first of all, by revising the policy, our government can create a healthy environment for us. Second, through peer support, we can achieve a good habit with our friends. Finally, through apps, we can record and track our eating habits with our, on our own. With the help of these solutions, let's say no to the nutrition together. Thank you for listening. Presentation and thank you for calling our attention to this very significant issue of overweight problem among teenagers in Taiwan. And I, I, uh, I think each of you must have spent a lot of time preparing your presentation. And particularly, I love, for example, I love the first gentleman, I think Josh. You use very, um, very uh, striking picture to show a good contrast at the very beginning. And the second lady, sorry, I forgot. I, I can't remember your name. I think you very confidently use your use gestures to 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 catch our attention. And for the third lady, I love your pronunciation. I think you give us very um, concrete and specific suggestions to deal with the problem so and I think uh, and all your and in general your presentation is very organized I, I love your teamwork yes and um, if I may raise the questions that is so and I put it, and also and, 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 and I love particularly for the third lady I I love and um, um, you, 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 you cleverly use some statistics and some graph to prove your points. I, I love that part. And if I must add, um, mm, particularly for the third lady, because I, I was confused by the second last slide, because you, you try to wrap things up, showing us um, um, policy, your major shown shown us your major three points: policy, peers, and individual. Well, somehow in the in the in the, on that slide, you, the third point you, you change that to app, right? Um, so I think perhaps you need to reconsider that, and also also and that reminds me that perhaps. There's a lot more we individuals can do to to deal with the problem of obesity, more, much more than app. So perhaps you, you, you can next time you you can try to revise that. Thank you. Thank you.